What's up? It's your boy Remus, and welcome to the Champ Set Podcast, the podcast for champions. What's up? It's your boy Remus, and listen, I'm the doubt killer, belief filler, the one that's going to convince you that you're a winner. On these streets, they call me the maker of masters, the crafter of champions, the weaver of wise. Why? Because give me a little time and I'll add champ set to your mind. We're a group, we're an army, we're a squad of winners with the most ambitious fighters and athletes. And we do everything to get the win because to us, allowing a loss is a sin. This is the home for ambition and this is the home for champions in training. This is the Champ Set Podcast. And today we're going to be talking about not giving up until it's done. Not giving up until uh, until the very end. You know that Rocky Balboa type of mentality where he says in the movies, it ain't over till it's over. That's the mentality we're going to be talking about today. I see a lot of fighters right, think, uh, that think it's normal in training to not have this mindset to such a degree that it, 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 they, they have it in... Um, uh, from small activities to and in the match itself. So, for example, what I mean by this is it's not over until it's over, until it's done, until you're, until the last second, you know. Make sure that you put every bit of energy into the cause and you don't give up until f- basically there's a 100% certainty that it's finished. So this could come down to you being in training and you're skipping and... Maybe you're feeling tired, you're doing a three minute round and you get to two minute, 50 seconds and you start to slow down a bit. You start to slow down a little bit and you're thinking ahead, it's only 10 seconds. I've worked hard for the the two minutes and 50 seconds. But to tell you the truth, those 10 seconds are very valuable. Those 10 seconds are very valuable to a guy who wants to be able to have those 10 seconds in the ring. And more than that, the the opponent, if he's done the full three minutes, He's going to be more prepared than you. You got to start looking at this stuff as as important. Those small margins can make up for big differences in a fight. So the next time you are skipping, the next time you are on the bag and you feel tired at 2 minutes 55 seconds, no, no, keep going until you've done the very last second. Keep going until the full three minutes is completed. And this is even something where when I filmed the last um, vlog episode with John Harden Jr. and he was um, training with uh, under um, Dillian White's watch. When he was training John Harden Jr., he was saying that last second is vital. You know, you can't just sprint for two minutes, 59 seconds. We're doing three minutes. You've got to go for the full three minutes. And that's something, you know, regardless of whatever you think of the situation, that is de- certainly true. So you've got to operate in that same manner as well. Go for the full three minutes and make it comfy while doing it. Try to, try, when you do it, make sure you you do it with class. You do it in style. You know, try to um, go for the full three minutes and then don't go, oh, and just fall on the floor. Try to maintain your shape. Try to remain upright because you know that when you're in the ring, you're able to do that. And if you was in the ring and, and you were so tired that you just, that your your opponent would look at that and actually go, oh my god, he's tired, he's tired. Let me let me get excited. I can just get him out of there. And we see that a lot when the trainer, when you're in the um tra- opposite side's corner, sometimes they say he's tired, he's tired. He ain't got nothing left, and that could actually inspire your opponent to fight harder, to fight even more. So don't give up until it's over. A lot of guys they give up before. They give up right before. And and when I say this, I'm talking about in the ring. You see this a lot, right? I don't think a lot of people notice this, but I'm someone I can start. I can can start to see a TKO before it comes. Like I see two rounds before when he started to give up a little bit, just a little bit. Maybe he he was going to throw a punch and what he would usually do is put a certain amount of energy and effort into it. But now he's starting to, to half step back. A little bit. It's just he's putting maybe 98% in. And that right there is the percent that shows you he's losing momentum. That's That right there is going to tell you a few rounds later, this guy could get TKO'd. For example, 
let's say that he's taking punches and before he would be slipping and rolling, but now he's resorting to just a, a strict high guard and he's letting the opponent have the opportunity of maybe landing one. Even if, if the opponent throws 10 punches, he lands one. But that one could, could deteriorate his confidence. And then you know what's going to happen? That little bit of confidence drop, confidence drop is going to allow him to let two punches go, go in. And then eventually he's going to let three out of those 10 punches come in. And then it's going to keep going slowly. See, you don't notice it from the first one, but clip it at the first one. Don't let it get to that point where you just let one punch go in. Because later, eventually, it's going to be, be, be six out of 10 punches that land. And that right there is where the, the, the TKO comes. But you let the TKO happen when you started to let that one slip. You started to let that two slip. You started to let three out of the 10 punches just come in. So until the, the ref has waved off the contest, the bout demands your full attention, your full focus, all of your hope. And you don't lose any of it until... That, that time comes where the ref goes, it's over, it's over. It doesn't, it, the bout doesn't end until the ref stops the contest or your, your, your second or your trainer throws in the towel. Until then, you are required to give it your all. Until then, you are required to assume that you can still win. You're required to still believe that you can still win. It doesn't matter how much you're hurting. If you're still in the fight, there's a chance. If you're still in the fight... There's a chance. Don't give up. Don't concede. And there will be a point where your body, you know, you fully know that, oh, okay, I can't go on. But it's it's the same thing like we saw with Amir Khan when he was fighting Terence Crawford. You, f you really think he couldn't go on? You really think that he couldn't go? If I held a gun to his, his head and say, hey, you better continue, I can guarantee he would have kept going. But you know what it is? is he, he doesn't have that hope in him. He doesn't have the belief. Bring him to me. Bring him to me. I'll, I'll instill belief in him. I'll instill be in belief in him. And I guarantee you he wouldn't have quit. I guarantee you. But that's all I'm going to talk about today. Stay focused. Let's get go to the very end. Don't give up until it's over. It ain't over till it's over, champ. Check it. <laughs>